Hello, YouTubers. All right. I am on the Wyoming ranch we bought not too long ago. Love the place. This is the first time I've been out here. Been out here a few days now. We bought it sight unseen. Been out here doing some maintenance and uh, repairs. And one of the main things I'm working on today is my observatory. This is the Ocean Lake Observatory, built by the previous owner. Has a roll-off roof up there. Problem, the roof ain't rolling. So I am working on trying to fix that so I can actually open and close the roof. I'll give you a little quick tour of the place and then show you what I'm doing. The sign's a little the worse for wear. There's a nicer one inside, though. Maybe I'll swap them out. This is what's called the warming room. This is the room next door to where the telescope sits. You can sit in this room and operate the telescope and stay warm on those warm Wyoming winter nights. Uh, this telescope is one that I brought with me. It's going to reside up here. This is just a, a Dobsonian telescope I can take outside set up in two seconds and use real quick. So, so this is the warming room and next door is the actual telescope room with the roll-off roof. In here, there's the nice sign. Let me put that one outside later. But there's a uh, nice 14-inch Celestron schmidt cassegrain telescope in here. I can get the cover off. There we go. Nice. Very nice. This came with the property. Can't wait to use it. But I got to get the roof rolling to do that. And uh, tried to open the roof when I got here using this uh, ratchet up here. And uh, cranked and cranked and cranked and ripped it right off the wall. The roof wasn't moving. So I've put it back on with some serious reinforcing. So hopefully I won't rip it off the wall again by putting a little tension on the, uh, on the strap that rolls the roof off. But then I did a little more investigating. And there's, there's four tie downs, one at each corner. These of course I have loosened up so I can open the roof up. But I did a little more investigating and found that the roof seemed to be sagged down and sitting on the on the building structure and the weight was not on the wheels. So the project I've been working on yesterday afternoon and so far this morning is shimming the wheels down because the wheels are bolted to the bottom of the roof up here. Shimming them down so that hopefully that will raise the roof up enough that it will roll again. So that's what I'm working on. I'll show you that outside. All right, I, I don't know if it's showing up on the video up there. If I zoom in, it gets grainy. But uh, all right, I got wedges under all four wheels on the east side of the building. Now I got to do uh, the west side of the building. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing when I get back up on the roof. Okay, the problem with the roof, as near as I can figure, is that it hasn't opened in at least four years, maybe longer. The previous owner got really sick and wasn't able to work out in his observatory and then died. And then we bought the place, but it's been sitting here for years, unopened, and the track that it runs on has sagged down. Things have settled, and I think that the main problem is that the roof is bottomed out on the support structure in there, and the weight is no longer on the wheels. So what I did was I got the jack from my truck, and I've jacked up the roof, backed off the bolts that hold the wheels on as far as I can, which is eh, only about a quarter of an inch, maybe. Hopefully this will be enough. And put some wood shims up in there. Got some, got some shims at the local hardware store. So I've got to finish the rest of the wheels. There's eight wheels that hold the roof up. And hopefully, lifting the roof up by an extra quarter of an inch will be enough 
to get the weight back on the wheels and get it rolling again. We'll see. If that doesn't work, I'll have to try something a little more drastic. But I really can't put much thicker shims above the wheels without uh, running out of thread on the bolts that uh, holds the wheels on. So we'll see if this works. Can you hear the sandhill cranes? Well, while I was up on the roof, I thought I'd give you an overview of what the ranch looks like. We got 40 acres, quarter mile on a side, big piece of property. Although the neighbors aren't impressed. The guy who lives up on the top of the hill over there, his family owns millions of acres. So I met his father, nice guy. Anyway, this is our ranch. I'm standing on the roof of the observatory. So here's the, here's the buildings. On the far left is a garage that's my workshop. And on the far right is a huge garage where we're gonna store some equipment, including that camper that's parked right there. I'm living in the camper at the moment. Uh, in the foreground there in the middle, that's the new studio slash bunkhouse slash guest house we're having built. It's uh, under construction right now. Behind it, you can't really see it through the trees, is the main house and main garage, which we have rented out to tenants. Since we're not ready to live here full time, um, we decided to rent it out just so the place isn't sitting empty and it's bringing in some income. But uh, this is the L&M Ranch. It is a beautiful piece of property. I wish you were seeing it under better conditions. The wildfires in California, Oregon, and Washington are sending so much smoke our way, you can't even see the mountains hardly. I don't see if they'll show up through the gloom over there. I can't really tell on the viewfinder of the phone. It's a beautiful view when it's clear. Hasn't been clear all week. They're saying it might clear out by this weekend. We'll see. I hope so. I'm tired of breathing this crap. All right, that's all eight wheels done. Moved down by about a quarter of an inch. Hopefully that will be enough to get it rolling again. All right, I need to uh, let the roof down off my jack, get it out of the way. And, uh, oh, I should do some other maintenance while I'm here. There's a lot of unpainted wood on this thing. Maybe I can find the time to get some paint on it. I'm only here for a couple more days. We'll see if I can find the time to do that. Otherwise, I'll be back next month. Maybe I can do it then. And there's some uh, nails that have popped up up there. Maybe at least hammer them back down. And kill some more wasps. This thing had a lot of wasp nests on it. All right, let me, uh, let me get the jacket down, out from underneath it, and we'll see if this thing actually moves now or if I need to do more work on it. Anyway... Just about to try and move the roof, but I thought while I was up here, I'd hammer down these uh, nails that have popped up and do a couple other things. Then uh, we'll see if all my effort was worthwhile. Okay, I guess we're ready. If I can get my camera to uh, deal with the lighting in here. It's a little dim in here right now, but I'm hoping it'll get better very quickly. Um... Just to be on the safe side, I reinforced the roller over here on the back wall where the uh, the strap passes over it. Just in case I have to put a lot of tension on the strap to get the roof to move now, I don't want that to be the next thing to rip off the wall. Like the, the ratchet ripped off the wall over here when I first tried to open the roof. So, well, wish me luck. We'll give it a shot. See, all four tie downs are loosened. Yes, okay, I got the scope covered up again just in case any debris falls down. So I guess we're good to go. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, look at it move. Yeah. It's actually moving pretty darn easy. Hardly any tension on it at all.
does stick in a couple of places. You may have to go up and brush the rails off. There may be some debris on the rails up there. I should have done that when I was up there before. Thought about it, but didn't do it. That was stupid. That's about as far as I can crank it open. I guess I have to push it open the rest of the way. All right. Let's see something here. Yeah, I was afraid that the camera wouldn't auto, uh, auto correct there. All right, so we're open. That's good. Of course, astronomer's worst nightmare is cranking his, his roof open and then not being able to get it closed again. So let's see if I can actually close this thing now. Okay, so here we go. need to clean some debris off the off the rails and it'll work even smoother very nice very nice okay <sighs> we're gonna be doing astronomy tonight Yeah, well, the smoke's pretty bad but I'll try to look at something well there you have it the Ocean Lake Observatory at the L&M Ranch it's back in operation. I am very happy. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Keep it safe out there.